What is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about Alpine 4 Holdings Inc. That's a mouthful and I had to change it up because I'm used to saying Alpine 4 Technologies. But this company is making some monster moves in the drone sector. They're doing some amazing, amazing things when it comes to sheet metal. This company is not playing around. Obviously, their CEO is doing some amazing things. The company is doing some amazing things. I'm excited, if you cannot tell, to provide you information on this amazing company. So, I'm not going to keep you waiting anymore. If you're interested in Alpine 4 Holdings, Inc., then I suggest you stay tuned right after this. Before we start talking about the new addition to the team, which is phenomenal, we start talking about more NASDAQ information and we, we really start to dive into everything that this company is doing. I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and now it's time to get to the video. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot speak highly enough about Alpine 4 Holdings Inc. Guys, this company is just literally throwing haymakers. If this was a boxing match, they would be throwing haymakers. They are constantly doing amazing things in every segment, every subsidiary they are involved in. Obviously, the biggest one as of right now and the one I like talking about the most is going to be drone related. Anytime you are involved with government entities, you're involved with the military, that is a significant piece. And it seems like the connection with Alpine 4 Holdings and in this case, the Air Force continues to get tighter and tighter and the, the netting is getting tighter and tighter. Guys, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal thing. We're going to be talking about everything that they've been doing. I do want to talk about the sheet metal merger because I think that is a significant piece as well. And you're talking about some big time revenue. This company is doing some absolute amazing things. I can't say that enough. Kent Wilson, the CEO, is doing I mean, it's just phenomenal, guys. It truly, truly is phenomenal. So I'm not going to waste your time anymore, and I'm going to just start providing the content. So swing it on over here. The first thing up out the gate is going to be, obviously, the addition to Vayu's team. And this, guys, this is incredible. Alpine 4 Holdings, Inc., subsidiary Vayu, Inc., welcomes recently retired U.S. Air Force Director of Program Nuclear Convoy Technical Sergeant Nathan Greer to the team. Now we're going to find out what these acronyms actually mean, and I really am extremely pumped about one of those. So here we go. Alpine 4 Holdings, Inc. currently trading on over-the-counter ALPP, which will be actually changing to the NASDAQ here very, very soon. A leading operator and owner of small market businesses welcomes recently retired U.S. Air Force Technical Sergeant Nathan Greer to the VAYU, Inc. team. Mr. Greer is the former program's director of Counter Small Unmanned Aerial Systems. So that is what that acronym C-SUAS stands for. Guys, I think this is an extremely, extremely significant addition right here based on that information alone. When you're talking about Counter Small Unmanned Aerial Systems, you're talking about being the opposite. You're, you're on the opposite end. You're playing defense. That is extremely, extremely important from a United States Air Force. That is from a military standpoint, being able to not only send the drones in and do whatever you need to do, but you're also playing defense. I mean, that is extremely, extremely significant because you're on the counter side. So now we're talking about another piece that he's a part of is the small unmanned aerial systems. Um, which is the SUAS. So obviously we're aware of that. Man, this is a significant, significant ad. This is a big time piece for Alpine. I mean, this really is. This is going to be a significant role and a, and a significant addition because you're talking counter, but you're also talking about the offensive side. And I think that's significant. Mr. Greer was responsible for establishing the FE Warren Air Force Base's UAVS lab where he maintained the research, development, test, and evaluation. <clears throat> Program for counter small unmanned aerial systems and small unmanned aerial system technology projects. The RDTME program provides physical security equipment and analysis to meet the immediate and projected force projection 
or protection, excuse me, challenges of the service and combatant commands. Mr. Greer is the Air Force Global Strike subject matter expert. That, gosh, guys, this is huge. This is huge. This is huge. Global Strike subject matter expert on all small unmanned aerial system and counter small unmanned aerial system matters. Training all new pilots to fly small unmanned aerial system, obtaining FAA Part 107 certifications, and creating and authorizing uh, counter small unmanned aerial system doctrine literature uh, used by all U.S. nuclear intercontinental ballistic missile wings. This is an extreme, extremely important piece of information that we're getting because we're understanding what Mr. Greer is going to provide. Obviously, Vayu, what he's going to provide from an, a drone perspective. Guys, I cannot speak highly enough about this technical sergeant who is really providing, is going to just have a wealth of knowledge when it comes to drones. This is a significant addition. Technical Sergeant Greer is said to be the most well-known small unmanned aerial system and counter small un unmanned aerial system expert in the security forces community. Security forces would be like the everyday police officer in the Air Force mindset. So he is said to be the most well-known in that field when it comes to these drones. And I, Guys, I can't speak highly enough about this. I really can't. His knowledge and technical expertise has impressed general officers who toured his small unmanned aerial system and counter small unmanned aerial system laboratory at F.E. Warren Air Force Base. Colleagues were proud to have him represent the security forces community and advancing the capabilities to defend and defeat threats to military resources. That's a significant piece, ladies and gentlemen. The reason I keep saying that is because now you're talking about a counter, counter engagement. You're being able to play the defensive side. If this is something that we're used, so if drones are being used to attack the United States, if they're being used to attack, you know, United States forces from a drone perspective, Mr. Greer has worked in being on the defensive side, being able to counteract those drones, know how to take them on, everything that is involved with them. That is a significant piece. Obviously, just said a minute ago, he is the best at what he does. This is huge. This is a major, major piece, especially when you're talking about government entity, you're talking about Air Force. And I did read earlier that it said that this is something that is huge for Kent Wilson. Kent Wilson and Alpine Four Holdings is at the table with the Air Force. So here we go. Additionally, Mr. Greer has a background as a cybersecurity manager with the 18th Military Police Brigade, as he himself was an MP. So sounds like to me he's coming from a Army side and then went into the Air Force side. He anticipates completing his master's degree in cybersecurity in June of this year. Daniel Pepper, CEO of Vayu, had this to say, we are immensely excited for this opportunity to work with Nathan Greer. He brings an unparalleled range of UAS leadership experience to our team and will help us grow in important and strategic ways. Could not agree more. Kent Wilson, CEO of Alpine 4, the parent company of Vayu, had this to say. Nathan adds a valuable and unique facet to Vayu talent offerings. His background as a U.S. Air Force sergeant adds an invaluable depth of an exp er, experience to the A4 aerospace family of companies when representing Alpine 4 before U our U.S. military customers. In addition, he has experience as a trained flight officer and pilot of the Impossible Aerospace U.S. 1 drone and was actively involved in bringing the U.S. 1 to the U.S. Air Force. We are elated to have Nathan and his talents with the Alpine 4 family. Guys, I think that this is a much bigger piece than what we're even seeing right here. And the reason I say that is because you got to think about the connections that Nathan has when it comes to military. Obviously, you have major generals who are obviously really kind of enamored and excited about the work that he was doing. So now you're talking about the top of the top when it comes to military. And now that is tied to Alpine 4 Holdings. Another thing to think about is all the things that Nathan has done in his entire career. He obviously comes from the Army aspect. If he was at one point a military police officer, that is going to be the Army side. So he may have ties with the Army in which he may be able to have connections with them as well. I think that this is a much bigger piece and we're going to see it really develop into a much bigger piece. 
This is honestly a monster, monster acquisition when it comes to an individual who has a wealth of knowledge in the counter and just the drones themselves. I could not be more excited about this. This makes me immediately, immediately smile from ear to ear because, you know, I served in the military and I think that this is a significant, significant piece. When you have someone who cares that much about what he did in the military, and decided to take it out into the public eye and is going to provide it in such a way with Alpine 4. I, I think that just really is huge, huge, huge information. Um, this is big. This really is big. The final piece that I really want to add, and I don't want it to kind of be really waved over because of all that information I provided, is the fact that we have two subsidiaries merging together and are going to create basically one of the biggest locations for sheet metal in North America. So let's dive into that. Alpine 4 Holdings Inc. ALPP CEO Kent Wilson tells Proactive its subsidiaries Deluxe Sheet Metal Inc. and Amora Sheet Metal Corporation are merging to become one of the largest sheet metal contractors in the Midwest region. Wilson says both companies will operate under the Morris Sheet Metal brand and Deluxe and Morris are expected to be fully integrated by May 2021. So that is a big time deal. It says the Midwest. I think that's going to be huge because basically what you're going to start to see is everything that is going to be revenue related that is going to be just a lot more connections you're going to be able to really display it as one entity not having multiple um, i think this is going to help the company this is going to help the subsidiary and this thing's going to drive home in in some positive ways so i really wanted to put that out there and i didn't want it to be waved over because i think all the information that i just provided on the drone aspect is a huge huge piece leading into this nasdaq you know up list i i could not be more excited for this company for the investors and people who are covering this thing and now we've come to my favorite part of any video and then just start breaking down time so let's swing on over here and check out alpine for holdings inc alpp so today it opened at four dollars it got as high as four dollars and four cents as we are currently going over this chart the stock market is open so this could fluctuate as the day continues to trend on it's low as three dollars and 95 cents its volume is 177.6 thousand i think that's significant and you're going to see why in a second market cap is currently 589.7 million 52 week high is nine dollars and 49 cents 52 week low is two dollars and four cents and its average volume is 3.109 million uh so today it is trading right now at three dollars and 98 cents that is down 0.88 percent um, and then this is a one month chart and as you guys can see uh, Obviously with everything that we have been enduring with the Nasdaq with the 10-year note with kind of the the recession that we had uh, The pullback we had guys this this stock has kind of really had a drawback And then since then it has just been in a rut and the reason I said is because we understand what is coming this company keeps putting out amazing information and it sounds like to me everyone is in anticipation for this up list to the nasdaq um we've been waiting we've been waiting we've been waiting we understand that you know from an alpp standpoint from an alpine four holdings standpoint they've done everything that they have to do now it's just playing the waiting game now it's just waiting for that up list to actually happen um and i do envision that to happen very soon this company is doing everything that they need to do Obviously, they are generating revenue. They are doing some just tremendous, tremendous acquisitions when it comes to individuals, but they're also talking about companies. Um, they have three more at least in place that they're looking to eventually add as subsidiaries, it sounds like to me. Um, but this is going to be a very, very impactful drone company. They are going to have a major, major role when it comes to, you know, when it comes to the military aspect. I would hope at some point they would start to get into the package delivery. Um, it would be interesting to see how they approach that. If they do even, I mean, this military thing is going to be a huge, huge revenue for uh, revenue builder for them. Um, and, and I do not want to discredit that at all. This is a significant piece. Alpine 4 is going to make some major, major moves. And this stock is going to make some major, major moves, especially when it gets uplisted in the NASDAQ. We understand that if it gets to the NASDAQ, they've been doing some amazing things. So I'm excited for it just like a ton of you are. The community around this stock is tremendous. There's so many people, again, that do due diligence on this stock. And people just put their time, their effort. It's just incredible. And, you know, this is awesome. I look forward to everything that happens. And I continue look forward to providing content on this because it's exciting. 
I appreciate you guys swinging by and checking out this video on ALPP. And this will not be the last video on this company by no means. They are going to have a significant, significant impact on the drone sector. And I look forward to continue providing content on this as more and more information, more positive information comes out and the uplist will happen. I do want to remind you guys, I'm not a financial advisor and anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. And that's exactly what I'm here to do is entertain. And you guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.